So can you really make money with cryptocurrency arbitrage, uh, flash loans, or DeFi? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video as a blockchain developer. All right. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from DAP University. And on this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. All right. So one of the main reasons I'm making this video is I got a lot of comments on my last video where I talked about, you know, cryptocurrency arbitrage trading being the million dollar blockchain skill. Um, so I'll briefly recap what I talked about in this video and kind of continue on with that. Right. And answer some questions that you all left in the comments down below. Like, is it profitable? You know, can you do this as a developer? And how can I learn more about this? Okay. So a uh, quick recap, basically cryptocurrency arbitrage trading is just taking an asset, right? It's basically, uh, the very simplest sense, like you could just buy low and sell high. All right. That's basically how you make money in financial trading. But the cool thing about arbitrage is you don't have to wait for a future event to take place. You don't have to wait for a price to increase, right? You can take advantage of an opportunity to that exists right now, a current price discrepancy, either, you know, on uh, one exchange, like in between multiple markets uh, or across multiple exchanges. So Let's take an example of, you know, multiple exchanges like exchange A, you know, where Ether is $100 and exchange B, where Ether is, you know, $101, right? So there's a $1 difference. And if you traded one Ether, you'd make $1 in profit, you know, without fees, all that kind of stuff, right? But, you know, that doesn't look too appealing necessarily. Uh, but what if you could do this with, you know, 10,000 Ether? Well, then you can make a $10,000 profit, right? You could, what if you could do that over and over and over again? Well, this is the kind of stuff that um, you can do with blockchain. You can use leverage to borrow money that you don't have without any collateral, something called the flash loan. That's how it works. You can have access to, you know, a million dollars, maybe even more of cryptocurrency to do a leverage trade with to increase the amount of an asset that you have uh, to, to increase your profit. And how the flash loan works is it basically allows you to do that as long as you pay it back within the same transaction. And that's key. So I'll talk more about how that works here in a minute. Uh, but that's a high level overview of sort of like what arbitrage is and how flash loans work. Okay. So some people say like, can you actually make money with this? And it's really funny because all you have to do is look at the blockchain to prove it. Okay. So if you look at a blockchain explorer like Etherscan, for example, you can just look at uh, transactions where flash loans have taken place, right? You can basically see that money was borrowed from the Aave lending pool. I went here, 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 and here, right? You can see the whole chain of uh, operations that are made and then the money being paid back and you can actually calculate the profit yourself. Like you can see how much Ether went back into the wallet after it was finished, okay? Um and some of this re require you to do a little sophisticated research, but yeah, you can definitely make money with flash loans. And all you have to do to prove it is just look at transactions that are public and open on the blockchain. And so that's a question I've been getting a lot is like, you know, it sounds too good to be true. Um, but that's just the resource I would point you to if, if you want real evidence, right? So um, the next question I want to talk about is, you know, how can you learn it? All right. So how to learn arbitrage and flash loans. So you want to approach this from two different angles, depending on what your starting point is. All right. So some people are starting from a developer background and want to learn how to do this. And some people aren't developers yet. Maybe they have a finance background and they want to learn how to do this. Right. So if you're already a developer, you basically need to learn about finance. And if you uh, have a finance background, you need to learn about software and development. All right. So and you'll have different advice depending on what your starting point is. So if you're a developer, you definitely want to learn more about some of the fundamentals of how finance works, especially with trading, uh, how arbitrage works, because there's multiple types of arbitrage. It's not just like um, simple arbitrage. Like that's what I talked about a, a second ago, which is basically like, you know, simple arbitrage, right? That's where you basically just buy a uh, cryptocurrency on one exchange and sell it on a different exchange where there's a clear price difference, right? There's also like triangular arbitrage, where you're looking at different cross rates and you're looking at implied cross rates based on trading pairs and all that kind of stuff. And then even just more complex um, arbitrage where you're doing a big sequence of uh, transactions to, in order to get that profit. Okay. So you definitely want to learn the fundamentals of how finance works. Don't worry. I didn't have a strong finance background before I became a blockchain developer. I learned a lot of this stuff um, or at least got a lot sharper at this stuff while 
I was learning blockchain myself, okay? So don't be discouraged. It's just something you need to understand. I'm going to talk about how you can learn that here in a minute. Um, and, you know, if you have a finance background, um, then part of it is getting in and learning how to do the code. And that's what we're talking about in this channel. So we're talking about a lot in some of my program, Blockchain Mastery University. Um, so you definitely are in the right place and you're going to have a huge leg up on us developers. Uh, if you, you know, maybe you traded Forex before and you've been doing arbitrage or, uh, maybe you're involved with some sort of, uh, larger institution that had, you know, funds available to them to, to do these type of arbitrage and like that. Okay. But no matter what angle you're coming from, eventually you want to reach this intersection of having like financial knowledge and also development knowledge. And both of these things combined uh, can be very dangerous. And I mean, dangerous. All right, I'm gonna talk about specifically why here in just a second. But basically, you're taking two really potent skills and combining them together into this new blockchain like playground where all these uh, access to money is just free. Um, and you can do all kinds of stuff with it. All right. So let me let me just show you what I mean by that. Okay. So basically, um, we're, we're talking about DeFi here, okay? So DeFi, uh, which stands for decentralized finance. And sometimes this is also called open finance, all right? So talking about like cryptocurrency exchanges, just money themselves itself, right? Money, and then uh, lending pools, okay? So all these things are basically governed by smart contracts, all right? The decentralized exchanges are, uh, the money, the cryptocurrency itself, unless it's Ether, is um, governed by smart contracts, and so are also the lending pools. So you have open access to all this stuff on the blockchain. You can just go look at the contracts for the lending pool itself, right? You can see the functions that are on there, and you have the ability to just, um, you know, interact with it directly, Okay. No one's stopping you from do this, all right? And if you're coming from any, any kind of finance background, this should be a huge deal, right? Because you don't have to KYC, you don't have to prove your identity, uh, you don't have to get approved for any kind of special uh uh, like status level in order to to get leverage and things like that. So um, another really crazy thing is it really makes a, I, I think a perfect use case for smart contracts. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So these smart contracts are um, you know immutable pieces of code that live on the blockchain that uh, act in a predictable way. The code can't be changed, and you know that like it's going to work in the same way every single time, and no one can tamper with it. So. These smart contracts are responsible for uh, actually performing the arbitrages themselves, okay? And here's why they're so amazing, okay? If you're talking about cross-exchange arbitrage, like buying on one exchange and selling on another, you can do this with a smart contract um, that will happen instantly, all right? So you don't have to worry about whether the price is actually going to change from the time that you see detect the price discrepancy and when you actually make the trade, Okay. So this is a problem like in other cross exchange uh, settings where you might have to, you know, pull out your funds from one exchange uh, and put it on another unless you keep, you know, both copies of the two currencies of, of each currency pair on exchange. I get people do that too. Um, but that way you don't have to do that either, right? And the other really cool thing about smart contracts is that you can write them in a way uh, to where the trade will not execute unless it's profitable. Okay, it's another way to protect yourself against arbitrage. So some other sometimes when you have other arbitrage strategies, like the opportunity looks like it's there and the numbers all run, but then something happens in between the time you detect it and then when you try to execute it that makes it not actually profitable. Okay, and you can uh, make this smart contract, uh, you know, add up all the fees and any taxes you might pay, and you can literally program that all in there to try to calculate whether the trade's gonna be profitable before you try to execute or not. Because the last thing you want to do is try to execute a command. Um, that loses you money, right? And also that's how the smart contracts work with the lending pools too and flash loans. It will only execute the transaction inside the smart contract if it pays the money back to the lending pool in the first place, okay? So uh, another really big benefit is um, you can do this in a completely decentralized way, all right? It's decentralized. So um, maybe, maybe you've written like a trading bot or something like that to trade Bitcoin on a centralized exchange. Um, Sometimes, uh, or maybe you've just done cryptocurrency arbitrage through a user interface on an exchange. Uh, basically, maybe you have to KYC and log in and you know buy it here and sell it on a different one or maybe inside the same exchange. Or maybe you wrote a bot that uses an API, right, that talks to that exchange directly. So there's two problems with this. You know, one, you have to KYC in order to do it. 
The other is that they control your funds. All right, these are those are custodial exchanges. That means they you you put money on there, you put cryptocurrency on there, they control it. There's that whole saying in blockchain crypto, like you know, not your keys, not your funds, kind of thing. So uh, there's always a possibility that either you know funds get lost in transfer. Um, there's a technical problem, or they just straight up you know take your money. Right? There's always a risk of that kind of thing. Or maybe a hacker. Maybe it's not necessarily the person controlling the exchange, but maybe there's some kind of vulnerability that uh, where you lose your money. Okay, but with this, it's a lot different. Okay, so basically, uh, you know, with these decentralized exchanges, you can interact with them with smart contracts in a way that you can be the full custodian of your funds. You don't have to give it over to this exchange. Like I said, with these arbitrages, you can just program in these uh, inside these smart contracts where you control the funds the entire time, or at least your own funds. Um, or you know, if you're using leverage, they're technically controlling their funds and lending it to you and, and it's getting paid back in the same transaction. So this is a huge game changer um, compared to how things are done in the legacy financial system and also just how people trade cryptocurrencies right now without these mechanisms. Okay. So this is really a big deal. I guess you can't make money with this. And in fact, DeFi needs arbitragers because you're essentially, um, you're helping me kind of become a market maker that helps bring cryptocurrency uh, prices to an equilibrium. That's kind of like how, how this works and what, what this does. And so some people have asked me like, how can I learn this more? So uh, that's what we're focusing on inside my program, Blockchain Mastery University. So this is my membership program where basically I add new videos every single week. All right, we do like live Q&A sessions and we also have like a, a community Slack channel. We do like a 24 seven chat. So, uh, that's different from my blockchain bootcamp. So that's normally what I talk about my channels, my blockchain bootcamp. That's a step by step program, right? On how to become a blockchain developer. Blockchain master is a little different. It's more like kind of how to stay current as a blockchain developer, how to answer, uh, you know, get a job, you, you know, answer difficult questions, all that kind of stuff, get, get feedback and support. So, uh, we're focusing on DeFi inside of Blockchain Master University and staying kind of up to date with what's happening in it. Talking a lot about these concepts. If you're a developer um, and you want to get into this, or maybe you have a finance background, want to get to get into this, both those kinds of people are great for this program. Okay. Um, so that's what we're talking about every week inside of there. And I normally only open this up a few times per year. And I think I'm probably going to open it up soon. So I don't have a set date yet, but what we're going to do is have a flash loan or arbitrage masterclass. All right. As soon as we have all the details for that, um, I will let you all know and we'll probably open up the program again. Right. I won't make any promises yet, but definitely keep an eye out on that. Okay. So you can find out more about that. Uh, you can sign up for the email list down below at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. Uh, if you want to get a jump on the skills before that kind of thing, really get up on your blockchain skills, then I highly recommend the bootcamp, all right? It's, it's the best way to learn blockchain step-by-step step from start to finish. Uh, whether you're a developer or you're not, I've had people uh, who aren't developers complete the bootcamp as well. So that's what um, we're going to do pretty soon with uh, these flash loans and DeFi arbitrage. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click the like button down below. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.